Hello and welcome to Cruising with John. Now this is our second video, uh, our first port day of our 14 night Morella Voyager to the Caribbean. Now if you haven't seen our first video or our first, let's call it the travelling part of getting to the Caribbean, then please go back, watch that one first and then come back to this one. Now, I'm sorry it takes so long to bring you these videos. Uh, we have been sifting through all of the footage and all of the photos. And unfortunately, when Lisa gets involved, then we start looking through every single photo and it becomes a marathon to uh, basically peel her away so I can get on with some work. Anyhow, so let's, uh, let's move on. So our first port, is St Vincent. Now as you know from our previous cruises we've been to St Vincent before. It's one of what I call my Marmite ports. Uh, you either love it or you'll hate it but um, we are starting to, well it's starting to grow on us. So uh, without a further ado on this cruise uh, as you probably know we were woken up very early in the morning by a faulty smoke alarm. And so uh, we didn't get much rest. So the first thing first is let's go and get some breakfast. Let's do this. From freshly baked pastries and bread to a variety of cereals, fruits and yogurts, there's something to please every palate. For those craving something savoury, hot options like scrambled eggs, bacon, sausages and grilled tomatoes are available, along the traditional favourites like pancakes and waffles. The buffet also caters to dietary preferences, offering vegetarian and gluten-free choices. With attentive service and a relaxed atmosphere, the Kitchen Breakfast Buffet sets the perfect tone for a day of exploration and adventure at sea. And of course, I went for the healthy option. St Vincent, a Caribbean island nation, has a storied past shaped by indigenous peoples, European colonisation and the legacy of the African slave trade. Discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1498, it became a battleground between the British and French in the 18th century. The island's economy relied on sugar plantations worked by enslaved Africans until slavery was abolished in 1834. St Vincent gained independence from Britain in 1979 and is now known for its natural beauty and tourism industry. Right, that's the history bit. I'm off to the beach. Okay, welcome to St Vincent. Uh, as you probably remember, we were here back in November when we did the Transatlantic on the P&O Britannia. And uh, today, we've just come off the market Morella Voyager.
There we go. First one of the day, John. Yeah. Morning. Morning. Okay. Again, as per last November, we're walking on the jetty. Now this jetty comes to an abrupt end. And they've, they've sort of made it a little bit better because they've put some sandbags down here. Just be a little bit careful though, walk, walking down here. And we're back to the beach, St Vincent, after a bit of a, a rocky, uh, faxy shuttle, where I think uh, the majority of us at the back got wet. But I'm sure we'll dry out very, very quickly. bed here you don't have to take the prices they tell you uh, or explain to you but I mean it's their living so don't be too, uh, too stingy but make sure that when you get an umbrella to get it tied down on all four corners because there's a quite a breeze that's coming off the sea and you'll lose your umbrella so that's one hint for this particular beach after spending three hours on the beach, we headed back and stopped for a few glasses of wine to take to our balcony. That's not too Welcome to Cruising with John, uh, with your host, me. Come from you. So uh, we decided, because we've been, oh God, it's all gone dark. Why has it all gone dark? It's sort of, it's gone live again.
Hello and welcome to Cruising with John, with your host, me. Anyway, um, hello and welcome to Cruising with John. Well, hopefully you've watched our first video, which was uh, day one of our 14 night Morella Voyager cruise. Mm -hmm. If you haven't, go back, video, uh, video it. Hello and welcome to Cruising with John. Now, if you haven't... Uh, 